Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the IntelliSuite software. So when you download it, you can see all this software within it. So in this video, we are going to mainly concentrate on IntelliMask and IntelliFab. As the name indicates, IntelliMask is used to create the mask and IntelliFab is used for the fabrication. So first we are going to use the IntelliMask. So let me open it. So this is the one. So in this we are going to create a mask. So to create a mask, initially select the mask layer which you want to create. If you have many layers, so first initially we are creating the layer 0 and select the shape which you want to create and then click on this icon. So it will show, so it will ask us the dimension of the rectangle. So uh, I give here as 500 comma 500. That is one corner is 0, 0 and the other corner is 500, 500. Now click on the draw. So it has drawn. Now again. So I am creating just a simple shape here. So this is the one. Similarly, another one. So I'm drawing here some shape randomly, okay? Yeah, that's it. So you can create any shape like this. Suppose you, if you want to add an another layer over it, you can choose this layer one, and you can draw another layer over it. So that's it, and then save the file. So I would like to show you the file which I have already created. Like this is a strain gauge which I have already created. This is the mask of the strain gauge. So that's it. So this is all about Intelli mask. So now we are moving to Intelli Fab. So this is the Intelli Fab. Now let us create a new file and then click on the database here. In this database, click on the first definition. Silicon you can choose any of this method i am choosing this and then this is a miller indices which are available you can choose any of this according to a requirement i am selecting this and after selecting this now you have to select the die size from the setup so now here you have to choose the mask which you have already created like i am using the string gauge and uh, and this outer boundary indicates that the extra material which which the fabrication process uses or other than the strain gauge so to eliminate this wastage of material here we need to reduce its dimension like mm, suppose i'm giving here oh no Like I'm giving it at a 17. Yeah. Just change it according to a requirement, okay? <coughs> so this is it over. Now click on this OK. Yeah, click OK. Now first we have initialized the definition and then again go to database. Then click on this deposition. Like this is the base substrate which we have created in the definition. And in the deposition, we have to create the another layer above it. And that layer can be like, you can choose any of this. So I am here selecting this one spin and then click on this pin one now click on this arrow and click non-conformal deposition <coughs> so that's it now again click on this icon and then click exposure so first step is the creating the base material and this material is like silicon dioxide or some other material like a which which can be etched off 
which can be removed during the etching process and now we have to click on this exposure and choose which exposure required I am selecting here the UV contact you can click any of this I am using here the offset and this is the essential step you have to choose here the mask so what layer I have created is the layer 0 there in the Intel mask so I am selecting here and that's it so this is the that is you want to like uh, you want to remove the portion which are affected by the UV rays or other than the portion which are affected by the UV rays so I am selecting here inside like I want to keep the portion which are affected by the UV rays okay now that's it again going to this now the final process is the etching process now to check whether the steps we have done till now is right or not we can verify our process so cleaning step is not required in the simulation but it is required in during the hardware now click on this visualize and you can choose any of this oh, oh sorry mm, again going to interfab okay so now this is not showing the option so just initially save the file like I am saving a 1, 2, 3 ok click on the save icon and choose visualize so you can choose any of this so if you want to visualize with it according to proper dimension like a thickness you can use this or otherwise you can use this I am using this so the virtual clean room so if you run this you can like this is the first step that is deposition of SI now moving to the next step this is, uh, this is the deposition of uh, deposition of the another layer over it and now we have exposed the UV light over it so you can see this the the pattern of the mask is printed over it ok so the next step is to remove this this silicon dioxide material over it so to do this we need to do etching process ok so now close this now going to database again <coughs> etch so in this etch click on the silicon mm, now I am using this you can use any etching process like clean clean etching, wet etching reactive ion exchange like this one or deep reactive ion exchange so I am here using this this deep reactive ion exchange so click on this and you can see here the various options like patch, partial etching, sacrifice etch through so I need to remove all the sacrificial layer that is sacrificial is SiO2 so this is the one which is the sacrificial layer so to completely remove it I am using the etch through option ok now just save it and again go to visualize option just run this run this ok yeah, I'm going to show you this step by step. So this is the initial silicon substrate. So this is the sacrificial layer over it, which we are going to remove during the etching process. And now we have done the UV exposure. And by etching process, we have removed the sacrificial layers and we have printed the, like we have got the strain gauge over the silicon substrate okay that's it so now save it so our next step is to analyze analyze what we have created so for this go for mechanical analysis click mesh structure just click mesh and everything will be done automatically so wait a second yeah in so in this, so this is the strain gauge which we have designed, okay. So in this, okay. So in this, just click on simulation, simulation setting. So here we have to choose what we are going to do, like what simulation, like static, frequency, dynamic, and analysis type, whatever analysis. So I want to do the stress analysis. So I click okay. And then go to loads 
like what load you need to apply so i am going to apply here the pressure on the face okay so i am just selecting this face once you select it will ask how much pressure you want to apply i am giving this 0.005 mega pascal set is a micro component i am giving this small pressure and then go to boundary fixed now you need to specify the boundary which you need to be fixed okay mm. now i am fixing this one that is the edge click ok and other than that hmm. other than that i am going to fix this one click ok this edge ok and the last one this one so you can fix this boundary conditions according to your requirement okay so just bring back okay now after meshing go to analysis you know after boundary fixing go to analysis you start static analysis so wait for some time Yeah, it is done. So now go to result. Like what you need to look like. Go for figure animation, linear motion, scaling factor. As you can see here, that you can see a light variation here. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see clearly. Yeah. So you can see that that I have applied it. I have fixed this both all the, all the edges, and here when I apply the force, you can see that it is oscillating. Okay. So now see it clearly. We can also go for displacement. Now the displacement is in the z-axis. So click here. Hmm. So that's it. Okay. You can see the clear result in this. like uh, if i improve the magnification factor you can see the, yeah now you can see clearly that what is the effect of the application of the force here so this is the all about the intellisuit software just save this file if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section and if you really like this video please click on the like button and if you want some interesting videos please subscribe to my channel okay Thank you.